the second postulate should be envisioned in this way. If our nucleus is at the center of the atom, and there are some number of allowed orbits for an electron, one being out here, and one being inside further, then when an electron jumps down from an, a radius that's further out to a radius that's further in, in this case, it's dropping in potential energy. But increasing in kinetic energy, this would result in the emission of energy in the form of a photon, whose energy would be h times nu. So what are the consequences? Bohr's theory? Well, Bohr was able to derive formulae that essentially reproduced the, Bal the Balmer spectra. He did so uh, somewhat empirically. He pointed out that this model has an electron experiencing a centripetal force, which we know from first year physics is a mass times acceleration, where acceleration is v squared over r. And the thing that provides that centripetal force is the Coulomb interaction. in CGS units that's given by E squared over R squared in MKS there's a constant K in front of the E squared that's given by 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught. but for now we're going to use CGS this electron that's orbiting has a total energy given by 1 half mv squared minus e squared over r, or in other words, add to the potential. And for, for 1 over r potentials, it's well known that the kinetic energy is always equal to half the potential energy. And as a result, the total energy of the electron is either given by one, minus 1 half mv squared or it's given by minus e squared over r. Notice that means that the electron has a negative total energy. That's kind of a funny thing, but it's not surprising. Because remember that the potential being negative means that the electron living at some radius here has an energy that's negative, and in order to allow the electron to move further out, in other words, leave the atom, you have to lift it up in energy. So this electron has a negative total energy, and the fact that we're only allowing it to, to live at certain um, certain allowed energy configurations then implies because energy is related to radii that only certain radii are allowed so there's a sequence of allowed radii, and R1 would be the smallest. 